little bit of a background. Uh, the genome of tobacco mosaic virus is a single, very simple uh, RNA molecule. It encodes three genes. The first is an enzyme that, uh, that helps the, the virus copy itself. It's a, an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. The green box indicates the, the protein that's encoded by the virus to help it to move from cell to cell. And the blue box indicates the location of the capsid protein. The capsid, of course, is, the role is to, is to replicate, is to encapsidate the single-stranded genome and allow it to be transmitted from cell to cell or uh, from leaf to leaf. And of course, that's what's transmitted as, uh, as workers in the field propagate plants and, and move the virus around. Now, from the standpoint of molecular virology, uh, this is a slide from Dr. Milton Zeitlin at Cornell University. And you see that the, the, uh, first, uh, the first iteration, virus, is, uh, virus enters the cell usually by a wound, either by an insect or a worker who might be working in the field, transmitting the virus into a broken cell. And from there on, the molecular um, uh, structures take over and processes take over. The virus is encoded, releasing the viral RNA, ribosomes translated, and those enzymes that are produced from the translation are, are responsible for copying the RNA and, and building the virus replication factories to make more virions, eventually ending up with more virus particles that are shown there down in, in the uh, lower left-hand corner. Now, from the cell biologist's point of view, it's, it's a very different story. In this case, we've looked at where this, where the, um, how the virus enters the cell. And in the first iteration, the, the virion uh, is disencapsidated within a few seconds after it enters the cell. The viral RNA is then moved into, on ribosomes, it's moved into the membranes that are perinuclear. And there it begins its translation and set up the first parts of the protein machinery that are necessary to produce more virions. Then moves, those, those membranes then move out into the cytosolic uh, portion of the cell and set up larger factories and continue to build them on endoplasmic reticula until it makes very, very large uh, bodies. Those bodies then uh, reproduce themselves, move around the cells, as I'll show you later, and eventually then move from cell to cell. And the real challenge here is for the virus to use the cellular machinery to do all of these processes and to move from cell to cell. Unlike animal viruses, plant viruses can't bud from their cell uh, membrane and then be ad adsorbed by others because plant cells are surrounded by very rigid cell walls. These cell walls are penetrated by structures that are known as plasmodesmata. This cartoon, uh, uh, written by or developed by my colleague uh, Bernie Eppel in, um, in Israel, shows a little bit of the structure of those, of those uh, plasmodesmata. This represents a cell wall between two adjacent cells, as you see here and over here. And going through that uh, hole in the wall is, uh, is endoplasmic reticulum. Now, myosins and actins and, and other um, energy uh, um, uh, conducting uh, structures make modifications throughout the, uh, process, throughout the living part of the plant's life cycle and, and allows this membrane to move from, cell to, from one cell to the next in a very uh, metered way. These structures maintain homeostasis. They're very small and only allow very small molecules to move through, including ions and, and energy-carrying materials. If that's disrupted, of course, it, it changes the homeostatic nature of the, of the leaf and it would be damaging. There, in fact, uh, during early and, uh, parts of development and later parts of development, you can see some changes in the structure of these, of these um, uh, plasmodesmata. Here you see they're very much more rigid and they're, they're bolstered by additional uh, beta-1,3 glucans and other molecules that give some rigidity to those structures. So the question is, how does a virus manage to squeeze through that structure? And different viruses do it in different ways. Uh, in this diagram, I, we've shown a, um, a, a diagram for how a, a set of viruses called Gemini viruses move from cell to cell. These are single-stranded DNA viruses. They replicate in the nucleus. They come out to the cytoplasm. And one of the parts of the, um, of the uh, protein coding encoded by the uh, virus and moves it from the nucleus to the cytosol. And then another protein carries it all the way through the plasmodesmata, as you see over here on the side. Tobacco mosaic virus, by contrast, does it in a very different way. There's an interaction between the movement protein, membranes, and the cytoskeleton, which carry these structures to and through the plasmodesmata. 